Hi, it's Vicky here and welcome to the second part of Create 8 for the month of November. So I'm going to start for the first card with this adorable stamp set. This is the Skisons Greetings and I'm going to choose one of those uh, polar bears who is skiing. I'm going to stamp him with my black ink. This is an alcohol friendly ink, so I will be using my alcohol markers to color everything and then I will go ahead and use the matching dice to cut it out. So I'm going to create a little scene here and uh, I'm working on a pale blue rectangle as my sky. I'm going to stick on top this um, white piece of paper to be my snow bank. And then I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of my little image there. And I'm going to stick uh, that on top. Now to cut out the slope, I used one of the oldest um, dies that have been released by my favorite things, the Hit the Slopes one. And I have also used uh, the layering uh, snowflakes from uh, this release which is a die set packed with uh, different sizes of snowflakes so I have cut out a bunch which are going to decorate my sky. I'm going to stick them down and I'm adding just a dot of glue on at the center of uh, the snowflakes. This is going to allow the edges of the snowflakes to pop up and it's going to add uh, a bit of dimension so it's not going to lay totally flat on top of my sky. Now for the sentiment I went with the one that says you are snow cool and I think this would be a great card for a boy or a girl especially if they have a winter birthday. And I'm going to finish off my card with uh, a little bit of sparkle. So I'm using uh, Nouveau Drops and that's White Blizzard. It dries uh, totally clear but it adds uh, sparkle. It has glitter inside, so I added a dot at the center of each of the snowflakes and I'm also going to add a couple of, well, a bunch of uh, dots all over my sky. And finally I'm going to stick that on top of a card base. Uh, my card base is white and it's the standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Now for the next card I'm going to combine two different stamp sets from uh, the same release and uh, I'm going to use the um, You Make My Heart Melt and the other one that's called You Make My Heart Spin. They both have uh, pretty much the same proportion so I can mix and match images from both those uh, stamps. And as you can see I'm going to use one of the dies to cut out my eyes there. And um, just because I wanted to create a little uh, eyes that is quite sparkling and uh, really grabs the eye, I decided to cut it out with the die and then at the back I'm going to add uh, a piece of uh, double sided tape and then I'm going to apply blue glitter on top of that. This is fine glitter, it's called um, Blue Paradise and it's by Novo, it's a gorgeous color and I really wanted to have my eyes blue instead of white, which would normally be, just because I wanted this to be the focal point and to really grab the eye on my card. And in the little winter wonderland that I am creating, little owls and birdies will be ice skating on top of that, so I don't think that anything really has to be too realistic. Now if you don't like using glitter on your projects you can easily enclose it behind some acetate and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So at the back of the hole there I'm just taking a piece of acetate so when I place it on top of the glitter it's going to completely enclose it and when the recipient gets this card it's not going to stick all over them. It, the truth is that this is fine glitter and it's going to stick beautifully on top of the double sided tape but I just wanted to show you this option. Before I stick down my eyes, I want to add a little bit of blue for my sky and um, I'm going for the ombre look so I like to have uh, more uh, blue at the bottom and as I go towards uh, the top I have white. And you can do this with a round blending tool but I find that with those brushes it makes it really easy. And here is how this is going to look and I really love the shine from the glitter as well as from the acetate. I think it completes the um, look that I was going for. Now I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick this piece directly on top of my panel. 
And now I'm going to grab the two stamp sets that I was talking about, the You Make My Heart Melt and You Make My Heart Spin, and I'm going to choose little pieces uh, from each and every one of them. So I'm going to stamp the house, I'm going to stamp the trees, I am also going to stamp the smallest of the creatures, so I will go with the owls and the birdies instead of uh, the cats and the bunnies. I stamped everything with my black ink that was uh, alcohol friendly and then I used my alcohol markers to color everything and now I'm going to complete my little scene by uh, assembling everything on top of my panel. So I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and then stick everything down. And depending on the colors that you choose for coloring all the little pieces, you can turn it easily into a Christmas card. I went with more uh, uh, cold colors and um, I just love those trees. I chose to color them with uh, mainly grays, blue grays. And uh, you can see that little house, you can easily turn it into a gingerbread house. And uh, one tip that I can give you when I create uh, scenes like this, I always like to have elements that stick out of the panel that I'm working on. It always gives more interest to the card as if there is something going on outside of the space that you are looking at. Now I'm going to find a place for all those little creatures to ice skate. After playing around a little bit with those uh, little guys, I decided where everything is going to go. So I'm going to add some tape adhesive at the back of this panel and I'm going to stick it on top of my card base. The card base, by the way, is a standard card, just like always, a four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I am going to stamp the sentiment and I decided to go with the one that says Heaven Ice Day. <laughs> I think that's uh, really adorable. And I really think it's a lovely card to send on a winter day to a friend that you just want to say hello. Now I'm going to stamp uh, this on a curve, following the curve of my snowbank, just to add uh, something different on the card, instead of having the sentiment straight on as usual. And finally I'm going to finish off the card by adding some uh, glitter with my blizzard, white blizzard nouveau drops on different parts of the trees. Now for this uh, card I'm going to create an elegant card but uh, I will be using a stamp which is called uh, Friends in the Forest from the latest release which is more on the cutesy side. So I wanted to show you how you can uh, use stamps from such uh, stamp sets to create something more elegant. It doesn't have to be cute. So these uh, stamp sets really are very versatile if you look them from another angle. Now in this stamp set there are three different uh, trees and I'm going to stamp one after the other and I'm stamping everything with Versa marking so that I can apply embossing powder. So I'm using a gold uh, embossing powder there just because I think that white and gold really make a very elegant card. But think of that in silver, you can think of that in um, red or in green even, very Christmassy ones that will look very elegant at the end. After heat setting my images and you can see the beautiful shine here, I'm going to use the matching dies to cut out everything so that I can pop them on top of my card. And just like I did uh, yesterday, I'm going to use one of those um, deco papers by Tim Holtz and I'm going to stick that directly on at the center of my card base. And then I'm going to stick all the trees on top of my card by adding some foam squares at the back so they will have a little bit of dimension. When you try to create an elegant card, always try to minimize the number of colors that you are using. So in this card I am sticking with gold and white. And since I used this um, glitter paper for my background, I'm not able to stamp something on top for my sentiment. So I will use a die cut. This uh, word joy is from a previous release by my favorite things and think it's from their uh, October release. So I'm going to add some glue at the back and stick it underneath my trees.
And finally, let's move on to the last card for today. Well, now I'm cheating. I'm not making a card. Instead, I'm going to make a little uh, Christmas gift tag. So I used this um, tag from the previous release and um, I have cut it out of uh, white cardstock and uh, dark red cardstock. And I'm just doing the assembly there. I used this tag in a previous uh, video, so you might want to check that out. It's a video where I did the, the stitching and I will make sure to link to that video at the end of uh, this one. So I am going to work with that uh, little girl and uh, she's totally one of my favorites. I am always anxious to see what she will be doing on the next release. And this time she's holding a Christmas stocking. So I'm going to stamp here with black ink and then I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color her. And as always, I will use the matching dice to cut her out. Now on this project I didn't want to introduce more colors than uh, white and red. So I kept her uh, dress quite white. I only added a few light grey shadows to give the dimension. And now I will go ahead and start assembling my tag. So I have cut out one uh, snowflake from the layering snowflakes uh, die set. And I'm going to stick that underneath, coming underneath from here. So I'm trying to create a little cluster where I will be able to stick my sentiment uh, later on. Now, as you can see, I have already prepared the sentiment. It's just a strip of paper that I have stamped uh, Be Merry. And the sentiment comes from a little uh, stamp set which is packed with uh, Christmas uh, sentiments that I used yesterday also a couple of times and it's uh, the um, snow globe sentiments. So now I'm going to add some shine on her Christmas stocking and then I want to have her dress really sparkling and that's why I will be using the white blizzard by Nuvo and I'm going to completely cover it up. So this is going to dry totally clear, but it's going to leave that uh, sparkle and shine that I want since it has glitter inside. And I'm going to try to catch the light for you so you can see all the shine on the stocking and on her dress. I threaded a little white ribbon and added a jingle bell at the top and uh, my little tag is ready. Now let's take a quick look on all the cards that I created for uh, Create 8 this month using products from November release by my favorite things. So here are the four cards that I made today. Well, the three cards and the little tag. And here are the other tags. Well, you see that I removed the antlers from uh, this little deer. Well, it's a doe. After getting all those messages yesterday, I didn't pay attention to that. And these are all the rest of the cards. I hope you had fun, you got inspired. Leave me below a comment and let me know which one was your favorite. Thank you all so much for watching and for all the lovely comments. I will see you all tomorrow with a very fun release and very inspiring vlog hop and lots of giveaways. So stay tuned. Bye!